Stephen, we were talking about the high-end luxury market. How much of this segment will actually do online? How difficult is it for a luxury um, you know, company not to have the bricks and mortars in four or five years from now? Well, I think historically the luxury players thought that they shouldn't be playing online and they really focused on brick and mortar and that's evolved over the last few years. So when you look at the companies like Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, they're doing 30, 35 percent of their business online. And even the very high end players like the uh, LVMHs of the world have moved towards having their own Internet presence. So I think that this omni channel being buy online, pick up in store, shop online and uh, have an Internet presence is ubiquitous across whether it's the good, better or best channel. So luxury Internet is important these days. But will it all boil down to Amazon? Amazon are trying to do a huge play in luxury. And today we have the debut of Alibaba over in Hong Kong. In four years, is it just going to be Amazon versus Alibaba even in the luxury space? I don't think so. I think that you're going to find uh, that a lot of the higher end luxury brands will probably steer away from Amazon. Uh, I think that you're going to see the other marketplaces evolve. They're going to have their own uh, presence. And you're, you're, the Amazon is a very, very important uh, core marketplace. I don't think it's going to be the primary uh, avenue for the luxury brands. Are we going to see a lot more consolidation in retail? Can a lot of the department stores stand alone survive? Well, you, department stores have been a history of consolidation for 100 years, and it's going to continue. Uh, you still have the presence of the very, a few very large players like the Macy's of the uh, world, and they're getting smaller. Right now in the United States, we have four to five times as much uh, per capita square footage as you do, let's say, in Europe. So you have too much retail, and you have too many department stores still. And that's whether too many Macy's or too many department stores in general. So you're going to continue to see consolidation. If you look at the MasterCard data, you've seen a deterioration of the department store space of, let's call it, three to four or five percent over the last several years. And, the, uh, and this year we're down in that three or four percent. So you've got to continue to see consolidation in an omnichannel world where the Internet is comprising, call it, 25, 35 percent of the business.